Hey, everybody! It's your favorite coach of mine, me. Anyway, <laughs> not tooting my horn or anything. Toot, toot. As I toot my own horn, let's talk about you guys' workout for today. So, what you guys have going on is you guys have um, one section of exercise with a four minute finisher today. So, what you're going to be doing is you guys are going to be doing um, six exercises. You have four rounds worth of work. Everything is 20 total reps, okay? Each side, uh, both sides at the same time, that part doesn't matter. What does matter is that you're doing, like I said, six exercises, four rounds worth of work, 20 total reps. Once you guys get done with that first section of exercise, the next thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go into this little storm front right here. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just blast your arms, both biceps and the triceps. What we're gonna be doing is you guys are going to be doing a two minute bicep curl and you guys are going to be doing two minutes worth of tricep kickbacks in the next section of the video as we either do a fade, a slide, or a dissolve, which is that fun little effect that I put to in the, inside of the videos now so you know where the transition's at because now I'm the movie maker. <laughs> anyway, not tooting my own horn again, you know. Anyway, so like I said, what we have is we have um, two exercises, it's two minutes each. So as usual, you can either set a timer, look at your analog clock, that part doesn't matter, just as long as you do the biceps for two minutes and then the triceps for two minutes. Um, so now that we're done talking about how the workout program works for today, what I want you guys to do is grab your equipment, grab a friend, grab a baby, grab a dog, grab whatever you want to do, and then uh, let's move on to the next section of exercise. Get yourselves ready. Here we go. Hey gang, welcome to your workout for today. Today's workout, like I said in the earlier part of the video, you guys have six exercises. It's four rounds worth of work, 20 total reps for everything, okay? So each specific exercise for each specific round, you're just gonna count to 20, move on to the next exercise, count to 20, move on to the next exercise, so on and so forth, down the line. Um, in the videos that are, that are pro, pre, pro, post, I don't know. Anyway, the videos after this one, for, for dummies like me who can't speak, anyway, <laughs> Videos after this one, what I'm gonna try and do is show you guys the barefoot version of everything, and I'm going to encourage you to do more things in the barefoot position in order for you to just concentrate more on the balance and the proprioception of where your feet are at. Because the more balanced your feet are, the better the exercise actually becomes. So we'll get into the science of that later. So first, let's talk about the science of your workout for today. So the first thing you guys are gonna be doing is the walk over push-up. So with the walk over push-up, um, what you guys are looking at is, um, honestly, it's just a very, very simple thing. Because you're going to be in the push-up position, either on your toes or on your knees. The most important part about this push-up is this. So what you guys are going to be doing is move this, move this bench out of the way because I don't need it. Or I'm going to need it in a minute, but anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys from the toes how it works. So what you're doing, feet between hip and shoulder width apart to balance. And then you're going to start off, you're going to do a push-up on the right-hand side. Walk over, push up on the left hand side. Now you can also do this from your knees, push up on the left hand side, walk over, push up on the right hand side. Now, if you guys can't do that from the floor, that's fine. It's not a big deal. As always, we can always elevate our body. I'll pull the bench back out for just a second. And what you guys are going to do. You're going to do walk over push-ups from a bench, a chair, a couch, or a table. So then what you're going to do is you're going to start off, push up on one side, walk your hands over, push up on the other side. Still counting to 20 for all of your push-ups. The next thing you have after that is the kettlebell swing. So, for the kettlebell swing, you can do it with or without weight. If you guys saw my funny little video talking to you guys how you can make your own homemade weights, if you haven't, go back and look at that. If you have, you know what to do. Grab yourself several bags, three, four, five, or six. Throw some peanut butter, oatmeal, tuna, chicken in the can, green beans, whatever you want inside the bag. And then what you're going to do, feet between hip and shoulder width apart. And then you're going to go here, between the legs, stand up straight, hands to the chest, back down. Boom! The 20. If we can't do kettlebell swings, that's fine. The next exercise I want you guys to perform is the deadlift. So all you're going to do is start, hands here, push your hips back, and then stand up straight. Push your hips back, and then stand up straight. 
The big thing about this is we don't want it to be a squat. So what I'm not looking for is I'm not looking for you to squat down. What I'm looking for, keep your legs straight, knees soft, so your knees are going to be buckled just a little bit. And you're going to push your hips back, and then you're going to stand up straight. You can do this with or without weight and still get the relevant idea of the exercise. So, let's talk about this exercise number three, which is the bent over row. So, with the bent over row, what you guys are going to be doing, and your three versions of that, so what you're doing is you're going to be bent over, so you're at the bottom part of the deadlift, grabbing both kettlebells, both dumbbells, both bags of groceries at the same time, and then you're going to pull, both at the same time, squeezing the shoulder blades together, hand to the pocket, and to the pocket for 20. Like I said, this can be done with your bags of groceries, this can be done with your weights, this can be done even without anything at all, honestly speaking. Um, or even if you have rubber bands, if you have rubber bands, you can place the rubber band underneath your feet, grabbing both ends, one in either hand, and then rowing it. Same exact thing, giving you just enough resistance inside of the exercise. Now that you guys are done with the bent over row, let's talk about the gobelet squat. That's French for holding something right here. Just kidding, it's not French. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Anyway, so it's a, a goblet squat. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna grab a kettlebell, dumbbell, pack of groceries, you're gonna grab a baby, a dog, a surfboard, a bike, I don't care. I don't care. Bikes! Grab whatever you want. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it, hand here at your chest, feet between hip and shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down as far as you can comfortably, and then come back up. Making sure that you push your knees out and over the toes, and then this age of the mat. As I stutter step over my words, the next aspect of this exercise you can do, don't, if you can't squat as far as you can comfortably, grab a bench, grab a couch, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do full sit, and then stand up. Full sit, and then stand up. Once again, also always bracing your abdomen. Bracing your abdomen does not mean sucking it in. Bracing your abdomen means protecting your abdomen. You're gonna protect it, you're gonna protect it. And how do you protect it? By pushing it out. That's how you protect it. You never, you never pull your shield in to protect yourself. You always push your shield out. Your abs are your shield for your back. So let's think about it like that. The next thing you guys have is the chippity chop. It's not called that on the <laughs> It's just the chop. So with the chop, give me, well, hold on just a second. Let me get some weight. Let me show you this one. This is cool. So, if you guys don't have, you guys can grab your grab, bag of groceries, grab your bag of groceries, or anything that you want. The chop will go as such. This very much, we're going to try and brace our abdomen and turn the hip at the same time. So it's kind of like a golf swing, baseball swing, uh, forward facing the rotation. The idea is keeping your spine straight as you turn your body one side and the other. So what you're going to do with the chop, you're going to start here. And then you're going to chop, chop down, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip. And the idea is to make sure you brace your ab as you pick up your foot and turn the body. This is considered an anti-rotational move, meaning we try our best not to move our spine at all. Bracing our ab while we do the exercise. So you're going to chop. Tend to one side, you're going to stop, and you're going to chop to the other side. Notice how I'm only picking up one foot in order to turn. So if I'm chopping to the right, then it's my left leg, or let my left foot, that comes and turns with me in order to pivot properly to the exercise. You're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then you're good. The next thing you guys are gonna do, this one does require a little bit of a twist, uh, because it is an actual Russian twist. This exercise can be performed many, many different ways. So, what you guys are going to be doing is, the first version of this is to honestly, let me, let me grab that weight again, because it just makes sense to have weight. So, the first version of this exercise, I don't know why I just keep these weights in this. So, so, the first version of this, what you're doing is you're going to, basically you're starting in the halfway sit-up position. Knees bent, feet flat, and then what you're going to do Start here, and then turn, 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 turn. Doing 20 total. Now, can't do it with weight, that's okay. Don't do it with weight. Make sure you're bracing the abs, and then you're just going to reach, 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 reach. 
If it's too much to hold yourself up, that's cool too. Keep your knees bent, and you just reach, 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 side to side for 20 total reps. Now that you guys are done with that, those are your first six exercises. Now that you guys are done with the first six exercises, four rounds, 20 total reps of everything, now let's get to the finishers for today. And now it's time for the finish. Now that you guys have done the first section of exercise, let's talk about the final section of exercise. Are you ready? Let's grab some dumbbells. Go fast, we'll grab some dumbbells. Hold on. So, so the first part of this exercise goes as follows. With the bicep curl, the big thing I'm trying to get everybody, and what I tried to teach everybody the last time, is pinching your shoulders back, locking your elbows in at your sides, and then what you're gonna do is full range of motion. So it's thumbs up, thumbs out, and then back down. Thumbs up and out, and then back down. Thumbs up and out, and then back down. You're gonna do both arms at the same time for the first minute. Now, if you can keep going in the second minute, just like this, that's fine, keep going. If you can't, then you can start alternating with the hammer. You can alternate with the full rotation, or you can even alternate keeping your palms up the whole time. That part doesn't matter. All I'm asking is that you do the first full 60 seconds with um, the full, um, the full range of motion with both hands at the same time. All right, now that you've done the two minutes of that, let's talk about the next two minutes. What you guys are gonna do is the tricep kick back. This one's gonna be a little bit more fun because it still requires you to keep your shoulders pinched back. And then what you're gonna do from here, start with the elbows tucked in at your sides, like at the top part of the row. And then what you're gonna do from here is you're just gonna kick your hands back, both of them at the same time, in the hammer fashion, for two minutes. Now, once you've done the first minute with both at the same time, then you can alternate for the next 60 seconds. You guys did a great job today, that's awesome. That's your workout for today. That's your fun little arm blasting finisher. Once you guys are done with that, as always, all I ask you to do is take a second, like, share, tell a friend about it, and go from there. We do genuinely appreciate all this. We are working very, very hard to try to figure out and establish a plan for the future for you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys do know how to hit me up, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, on my phone number, it doesn't matter. Give me a call, let me know if you need anything, and we'll move forward from there. Enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for working out. Be well.